I, I bring up this point every so often where they take um, – someone takes a picture of, of you driving an SUV. And then 20 years from now, we do realize, oh, my God, they were right. Climate change. Holy fuck. We fucked the world. This is terrible. Hey, here's a picture of this guy driving an SUV from 10 years, 20 years ago. He should be canceled. Meanwhile, right now, you'd be like, well, I'm not going to. No, I'll, I'll drive around. It's, it's still cool. They, they're putting shit in context for now that wasn't that bad 20 years ago, and okay. people are paying for it. Take what Anthony just said and put it in a time capsule <laughs> yeah. with that 25-year corn that he sells. Yes, yes. The because 25 years. I could not agree more. This is a test run. It's going very well, by the way, for the tyrants. Oh, isn't it? And now they're going to... That's it, It's going to dissipate. You see it with Seth West. You see it with Chick-fil-A. That's so going to dissipate. So now they're going to do climate change. Yeah, climate change is right there. I heard today you can't go on... This isn't true today, but <clears throat> they're talking about you can't go on Facebook unless you have a vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's funny. <laughs> but who the fuck knows? Who hey, knows? maybe... Maybe. You can't, because know. you'll spread misinformation, you'll be dangerous, so show us that your vax sense. card before you log in, or you can't log that in. That makes sense. And that obviously has to run out of steam at some point. I think it's running out of steam now. I think moderates and even liberals are saying, okay, I've had enough. Enough. So now it's got to be climate change. You're killing the planet. Climate change is huge. It's it's sitting there like the, um, you know, the, the, the big volcano waiting to erupt. Uh, California is doing things. You always look to California because they will be the first to yep. do something so stupid. They <laughs> they've stopped uh, the sale of gas powered uh, lawnmowers, uh, edgers, other small engines, and this is amazing to me: gas powered generators. You're not you know Honda generators. People yep. get them every time the power goes out. Contractors use these things every day. You're on job sites that have no electrical power. Yeah, you're on getting them. the electrical power to the thing. Right. That's how it works <laughs> with the generator. You can now use power tools. You have to power a compressor. Uh, you have to charge your uh, Makita drills or what have you. This is something that's needed. They are literally outlawing. I and then it said we're looking for zero emission generators. I'm like. I don't even know what that is. That's that it's literally the little rascals putting a dog and a cat on the wheel. Yes. That's zero. And still, little shit. It's got to So eat. I guess what it means is you charge some insane monolithic battery that's yes. that big, and it's ready to go at all and times. And even then. But where does that energy come from? It comes from coal. Where does that initial energy to charge the battery come from? Where do the chemicals come from that go into these toxic fucking explosive batteries? It's little kids in Africa are are going through junk piles <laughs> yeah, trying to yeah, find yeah. pieces for their shit. It, it's a stat. No one wants to think two feet away from their nose. So, like, oh, it's battery power. That means it's it's efficient. It's it's non polluting. No one wants to consider where. The energy, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It could be changed in form and moved around. So that energy in the battery, it's just magic battery energy. It comes from somewhere. Well, and you, that is usually a coal or oil-driven energy. Yes, plant. anything of any consequence has to come from there. We've yeah. seen, you want to see magic energy? It's called solar. It comes from the sun. Right. It comes down. Okay, great. There's no coal being burned. There's yeah. no gas. There's no oil. I mean, you, you got to make the panels, obviously. Yeah. But it's minimal. Okay. Got it. How much are we getting from that? Drip. It's drip, so inefficient. Drip. You would need this entire desk to charge your cell phone. Yeah, yeah. And it had better have been charging on a sunny it's day. Be a bright, all day. sunny day. It's a fucking nightmare. It doesn't like, depend this on. This yeah. is useless. Yeah. I don't mean the show. I like the show. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> people could argue. <laughs> But as far as that surf, like you see these solar backpacks, like yeah. what are you charging a mouse's eyelash? Yeah, it there's really nothing is there. Nothing. It's people useless. Are, people are amazed that they could pull out this array of solar panels, like the fucking space station, and it's like my phone was charged for nothing. It's like nothing. You're carrying something around with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The calories you eat to walk to face the sun are being utilized. To they, get, you they, know, no if, one wants. When to they say that. solar cars, you realize how far they are from reality. Oh, stop. The amount of fucking panels you would need to start a car yeah. would it would be like seven jets. Of yeah, the wings. weight of it. Yeah, that. It, it, yeah, it's 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 not even possible. Yeah. They, they could never support their own weight. I, I was arguing some point on Twitter about 
energy and someone goes hydrogen, hydrogen uh, fuel cells are great because all they put out as a, a, a pollutant, which it isn't, is water. It's amazing. And then it's like, oh, that sounds good. So you do a little research on hydrogen. Do you know hydrogen isn't just a thing that's around? It's amazing how much hydrogen there is, but it's not something that is just a single thing floating around that you go, oh, let's go to the hydrogen mine and we'll collect it. It's attached to something. Now in water, it's attached to oxygen. The energy it takes to separate hydrogen from whatever else is connected to is more than what you can use the hydrogen for to make energy. So it's simple as that until, again, it's like nuclear uh, 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 fission or fusion, nuclear fusion to join together instead of busting apart. Well, they're like, yeah, that would, it's efficient. It doesn't throw off radiation. It's a, and it's impossible. It takes more energy to do it. And they've only done it on such a small amount. Unfortunately, nuclear energy really is the most efficient, Great. safest form. Let's do it. Of, of energy to uh, set up power grids with. Solar is terrible. It's not efficient. You can't transport. Uh, for, they talk about fossil fuel. The greatest thing about fossil fuel is its transportability. You see oil tankers driving down the. You, you don't go like, hey, this is full of magic from a solar panel over here. <laughs> we put it in this tanker and we're delivering the magic across the country. In order to transfer power from one place to another, you have to put it in something and drive it over there. Yeah. And oil and fossil fuel is the only thing that they could do that with now. Batteries are nothing. They're shit. I feel like the greenies are coming on board the nuclear thing. I hope so, because that was the ultimate liberal. The only hope. No nukes. Silly. It worked for France. The reason France, it's full of lazy retards who are a bunch of straight fags. <laughs> And they still had a pretty good economy for a long time, and I think it was because all their energy was free. Mm. That's what we have to do. Nothing makes me more furious, though, than motherfucking wind energy. It is hilariously funny. The energy of the video game. <laughs> it's like every video game has windmills in it, whether it's a Sim City, oh, whether really? it's Call of Duty. Yeah, you're going like, oh, good. meet me at the windmill city. We'll fucking do it. It's like, it's, and that shows you what a fantasy kind yeah, of yeah. energy thing that is. I just saw one. I can't remember why. I was uh, on my phone on the train here, and I saw like a, a windmill falling apart and yeah. bursting into flames and I could see the the turbines falling and the <laughs> propellers hitting the ground and I was just like good yeah fucking good. burn well bitch. that's Biden's answer by the way he says he wants a bunch of offshore offshore New York by the way so this means the Long Island Sound and uh South Shore he wants to put um in the ocean windmill uh, power. They've never paid for themselves. Never Not once themselves. has a fucking windmill said, you know what? It took this much energy to make yeah. me. I've just produced 1.1 of that. Yep. Never. They die of old age before they can. And I, I, I talk about video games. I, I play a game, uh, Sim Cities. It's like a city building game. The first option you get for powering the city is a windmill. And all you're thinking is, how can I get to the next level? Because I can't do shit with this windmill. <laughs> you're powering three houses. And it's like, Whoa, what the fuck? I can't. On I need, vacation, we were in oil. Costa Rica near this big volcano. I forget the name of it. Alvarez or something. And uh, the ah, so. I think that's the one in Japan that just blew up. The skyline was so fucking littered with these things. A forest, an absolute forest of windmills. And maybe 10% of them were even moving at all. Yeah, yeah. And they were just sort of like, meh. <laughs> Costa Rica's not known for its windiness. No, it, it isn't. It's a normal little tropical place. Right, pretty a little Monday. breeze every yeah, so A little often. nice little breeze. And then it was just all these dead. And you could see there was a factory on site. Where I guess they do repairs and keep making these, these propellers that are as They're big as so giant, so fucking huge, a city block. Yeah, and you're like, it's not working. Did you see the one that was being transported by a tractor trailer, and uh, a train hit it? No. That was another one. Like, yes, he couldn't make the corner, and he was sitting on the tracks, and this train just plows oh, fucking fantastic. through it. And you're like, Good. oops, one blade gone. So no one died. We should make montages of of. Wind power yeah, porn. Wait, oh, is this it? Yeah, look. Look how long this fucking thing is. Oh my it, God. 
red tractor. The, oh my God. the propeller is right across the tracks. He's trying to get out of the way. Oh, oh well. Wind power. Oh my God. That oil running locomotive oh is saying, go fuck your mother with your wind. <laughs> How about some fucking diesel power, motherfucker? <laughs> fuck all of you. What's the matter with gas anyway? I don't even understand their point. The ozone, acid rain, what is it now? What's wrong with it? <clears throat> By the way, if every other country put their um, oil uh, refuse through all the shit we do in this country to all clean it up, then they wouldn't even worry about it. We have the cleanest fossil fuel burning energy plants in the world. Top of the line technology. It's not like the old days. Look at pictures from the early 1900s. Oh yeah. Just black smoke is Soot. billowing out of it. Soot. I remember driving down uh, the uh, turnpike in Jersey and you'd see the smokestacks at the the refineries, and they're blasting smoke, and you'd smell it. You, you, it used to be a joke. Yeah. About driving down the fucking uh, Garden State Parkway. Well, when did we uh, get Jersey catalytic converters in cars? Yeah, that was another what thing. What was that, that like 65, 70 or something? Every car you saw, when I was a kid looking out the windshield, every car you saw when they'd start moving, smoke yeah. would blow out the ass end of it. Brand new cars. Now? Now you can blow a car as it yeah, pulls up. Yeah, it's oh, nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> Cleanest fucking things. And, you know, India and China. Oh, Eastern and, Europe. And I was Eastern in Europe, Pilsen, all these countries. Slovakia in the early 90s. And you would everything was just gray and soot. Yep. And you could just touch a building and your finger yeah. would be black. Everything was filthy. Yeah. Taiwan, I'd lived there for a while. You'd ride your bike to like a, a client's house I was teaching English. I'd feel so filthy when I got there. I'd wash my hands and face. And oh, then I'd no look shit. at the towel and it was my exact face. Yeah, the Shroud of hands. Turin. <laughs> <laughs> the Shroud of Gavin. <laughs> Gavin. <laughs> Everywhere I went. And then I came back home and I was like, fuck, this place is spotless. Why are yeah. we doing the heavy lifting? But we have the guilt. We oh, have the. We're we are so, so terrible. Car. Carbon tax. We need to, and, and we're ready to pump all kinds of money into this France bullshit and and climate change and and Greta's yelling at us. Paris Accord. And meanwhile, yeah, the Paris Accord. Oh, we see a turtle who has a straw. Oh, up its nose. that's not our it's straw. Nuts. We don't dump our straws oh. in the fucking water. That's China and Africa that yeah. does that. And show me a hundred turtles with straws in their nose. Yeah, yeah. Then I might go. Eh, maybe there's a turtle straw problem. Eh, no fucking problem. An anomaly. One fucking turtle. And, and Westfest in Vegas has more Proud Boys with straws <laughs> in their nose than fucking. Well, of course. Turtles.